हेलो गाइस सो माय ब्रेक पैड्स आर वन आउट रियर ब्रेक पैड्स सो आई एम गोइंग टू चेंज इट सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन डू इट ऑन द सीबीआर टू फ्यूचर नॉन एबीएस वर्शन बाय ब्रेक कैलिपर सो फर्स्ट एक्चुअली द पैड्स विल बी समवेयर हियर एंड द पिस्टन विल बी पुशिंग इट पुशिंग द पैड टिल हियर वी हैव टू मूव द पिस्टन बैक बिफोर वी कैन चेंज द पैड सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी डन इट You can do it by pushing the pads reverse the reverse side. You can do it by pushing the pads till here. That there should be gap here to accommodate the new pads on both sides. So the piston is on the right side. So you have to move the right hand side pad to the to the right side to move the piston inwards. So I have already done that. For removing the brake pads, we need to remove this pin. This pin here. We have to push from this side the hole. You can see it will come from this side. And after we pull it out, we can remove these two pads outside and insert the new pads. So there is a uh, locking pin here. I have already removed that. Like so for removing this pin, we need to push from this side. So for ease. I am removing the exhaust, so I will show how to remove the exhaust as well. I have to first remove this shield here. It's shipping on this nut, this Allen key, one five mm. After that, you have to remove this nut. Okay, it's of size twelve, twelve on both sides. Then you have to remove this piece. It's also the same 5 mm Allen key, and you can slide it out like that. After that, you have to remove this one. Not remove, just loosen it out. Let's spray some WD-40 to loosen it up. So this is how you can remove your exhaust. So this is how the bike is looking without the exhaust. Now we get the correct access to the hall. This is the pin, and these are the pads. You can see right. I think there are life left on it, but the thing I am changing it is these are Bajaj Pulsar 220 pads. So these are cheaper, around 200 rupees, and. These are Honda original one. Yesterday I purchased it for thousand. So let's put the brake pads in back. Actually, the caliper will move like this inwards and outwards. There's a mechanism for that in here and here. Okay, so while putting, we can adjust pad. First, we need to put the the outer side one i mean the left side one we have to put first it's a fairly easy job putting it back to put the pin back to this side to cover this one okay so it's done now we have to put the right side one yeah as i already made a gap between the pads so i could easily fit this one inside now i have to push the pin from the other side ok 
Okay, so now we have push the pin from this side, opposite side to fill here. We have the pads installed. Now we have the pads installed properly. You can see there's a little bit gap here. Once we pump the brake, it will be adjusted. As you can see. Once you pump the pedal, the brake pedal for some time, the brake pad will be tight enough. Now you have to insert the pin here. You can see the hole. See hole in here. You can see that clip insert and put the exhaust back. Then we are done. Tighten this not all the way back. I have to fold this piece. For now, I am not keeping the heat shield. I have to do some modification on that, so I'll put it later. So for now, I am keeping just the nut here, so that it is not getting missed anytime. Otherwise, it will get lost. So yeah, so done. We are done. So the brake pads are installed and I will go for a ride and check whether it's having any better grip than the 221 so yeah so we'll check and find out see you guys later on the next video thanks for watching have a great day bye yesterday I purchased it for 1000 and these are like 200 something around 200 something so difference of 800 rupees so when I got the bike, I was obviously I was having the original one. Once the first set wear out, I have used the Pulsar 221s for like, I don't know, maybe 25,000 or 30,000 kilometers. These have run, and still this much bad, this much brakes are left. This much life is left on each pad. You can see right, quite a lot of life left. I guess the braking bite is maybe maybe lesser than that of Honda. That's why this is giving much high life and also the rate is much lesser. So I was thinking to compare the model number. So I can see that these are definitely different models. Although the same shape is same, the model number and the logo everything is different. Also I think Bajaj is also using the bike brake caliper but maybe there's there is some difference also and i need to check whether the grip is any different from the original and so, so you can see right so i will keep this down so on this uh, on honda one there is a cut in between and on bajaj there is nothing like that it's just a single piece so i need to check whether there is any difference in braking bite after changing to the OEM one I need to check I'll check that and we'll uh, get back to you guys soon